Hi, I'm Brad Vonley, Construction Manager for Marigold Infrastructure Partners, and we're proud to be building Edmonton's Valley Line West LRT with the City of Edmonton. We spent 2021 on intensive planning and detailed design, and getting started with early construction works. As we move into this 2022 construction season, we'll be starting on some of the major elements of Edmonton's 14-kilometer Valley Line West that connects Lewis Farms to downtown Edmonton. And here's what to expect for 2022. We'll continue working with partners to ensure utilities and drainage work is complete. Landscape work continues along the route, which includes tree removals when necessary. Where trees need to be removed, we will be replanting with native species that are better suited to Edmonton's natural environment to improve the long-term health of our urban canopy. The most notable work on the project in 2022 will be through the elevated guideway and the two elevated stations at West Edmonton Mall and the Misericordia Community Hospital. By the end of the year, we plan to see the elevated sections being erected and the two elevated stations will start to take shape. The foundations are anticipated to be completed by the end of this construction season. To support the elevated guideway work, we're using special equipment that will hoist the 50-ton precast concrete sections into place and attach them together. This is just one of the innovations we're bringing to the project to help speed up our work and reduce local disruption. The excavation and drainage work are underway to begin the roadway relocations required to make room for the ultimate LRT alignment. Also this year, we are preparing sites for street-level stations along the route working with the city to integrate them with the surrounding communities and enabling safe access. Preparatory work will also start for the bridge at Anthony Henday Drive. Finally, we'll ramp up construction on the storage facility at Lewis Farms and the Jerry Wright Operations and Maintenance Facility. As we complete the work, there will be temporary lane restrictions, permanent and temporary access closures, as well as occasional night work. These decisions take safety as well as local concerns into account. Marigold will continue to be a good neighbor and we will continue to do what we can to minimize local disruption and inconvenience. 2022 will be busy and we will need local talent and businesses to deliver this transformational project for our city. We continue to work with the community and employment partners to develop skills and support career development for Edmontonians. On our website, you can find listings for employment and procurement opportunities for the project. As we build this light rail line, we will keep you updated on our progress and any hurdles we encounter along the way. For more information, please check out our website, follow us on social media, or sign up for our updates. We thank you for your input and patience, and we look forward to making great progress in 2022.